this video, guys, we're going to look at what is a reverse stock split. Stay tuned. Hey, guys, traders, investors, warm welcome to you. So what is a reverse stock split? It's not good. I'll give you that. Let's have a look exactly what it is, why you do it, the pros and cons of doing it. And let's look at some examples, hypothetical and actual real world. OK, so we have what, why, pros, cons. So to be listed on an exchange, you have a specific criteria that you must meet. Amongst others, you have to have a minimum number of shareholders and 100 share batches. So you can't have just one or two that hold all the shares. You've got to have a, a decent amount. They've got to hold a decent number of shares, each minimum of 100 shares. A total number of shares have to be a certain criteria, a certain amount as well. And then you've got a minimum stock price. And that's the big one really that we're looking at in this video as to why potentially companies will do a reverse stock split. We've got a minimum stock price that you have to maintain. So for example, on the New York Stock Exchange, your company will be delisted if your stock price goes below a dollar for 30 consecutive days. So if you hit that 30 day mark, bang, you're delisted. You can go under, you can dip under, you can dip back up. You know, there's no problem with that. You can spend a bit of time under, but it's got, if you're 30 days consecutive under that dollar mark, you're out. And the different exchanges have different rules. So obviously that is seriously inconvenient for investors, right? And not only does it uh, reduce credibility, it means you can't trade in and out of the stock. Um, it's just, just bad, bad news. And no one wants the company to be delisted. So there are ways that they can get around it. Now, the obvious way is to improve your business so that the turnover increases, the valuation increases and increases more investor ownership, supply demand rules. But we know that in the real world, it doesn't always work like that, does it? You know, sometimes businesses are going through bad patches and they're not going to work out. So this is a good example of how we might do this. So let's say you own a thousand shares of ABC. ABC is a mm, restaurant. It's a restaurant and it's doing okay, it's chugging along, and you've got a thousand shares, it's $15 per share. And the restaurant's doing very well, everyone's happy, everyone's making money. All of a sudden, times get hard, maybe there's been a bit of a problem with um, getting customers in, maybe there's a better restaurant open nearby, labor problems, perhaps you've had some illnesses or linked to something has caused the whole thing to dive down, and you are struggling. But you know, hey, uh, I think that it's, uh, this will come back. Uh, it's just temporary, but you don't want to have the consequence of potentially being delisted if you're trading or you just want to kind of make things look a little bit better and, and not have this pressure on you because all of a sudden you're trading at 80 cents per share, which you've traded on the NYSE, NYSE you're going to be struggling uh, to stay listed if that can stay under that $1 mark for 30 days. Now, the board has a meeting, that's got to be done by the board of directors, and they say, you know what, we're going to do 10 for one reverse split. What does that actually mean? What does it do? Basically means that now, they will reverse split the shares. So you will now get one share for every 10 shares you own at a new price, which is going to be 10 times. So you had a thousand shares and it was worth 80, 80 uh, cents per share. Now you've got a hundred shares, you've got your 10 for one split, and then are worth now eight pounds per share. So if this hypothetical company was trading in YSE, that's great. That's um, alleviated the problem of it trading under $1 for 30 days. Now, you do get companies that actually will reverse split and reverse split and reverse split and reverse split, constantly reverse splitting. And ultimately, the price is still going lower and lower and lower. And really, they reverse split. And if you're actually just plotting price, it jumps back up and goes lower and lower and lower. And all you're doing is the valuation is still exactly the same. You know, the value here for the company has not changed. The structures just change. You've got a different amount of shares, and those shares are worth different numbers because they've just taken you know, ninety percent, if you like, of the shares and issue out, so that it's made more valuable per share. AIG is a great example of this. AIG uh, was trading, for example, at sixty-seven dollars. Um, then it was trading at fifty-eight dollars, and that sounds not too bad. But in between that sixty-eight to fifty-eight, uh, sorry, sixty-seven to fifty-eight dollars move, they actually had to undergo a twenty-to-one stock split, which reality means that the shares that you had, or let's say you had one share at sixty-seven dollars, and you held it all the way through, 
and it's now at $58, you think, well, that's not too bad. But in reality, that actual share is really worth £2.95, $2.95 because of the reverse stock split. So this is why when you're investing in companies, valuation is so, so important. If you can chart valuation, you can see what's going on. And actually, you know what? A lot of the charting packages guys do do um, adjust for, for stock splits. So whether it's a stock split or reverse stock split, a lot of the charting packages will adjust so you can see exactly where you are. So don't be fooled by the different prices or don't be fooled by um, kind of uh, the different valuation of or the different price point of that share, should I say, the valuation is the key point. The valuation is what the company is worth, what people perceive it's worth, and it's irrelevant what the price is. You could have you know, such a small amount of shares in issue, in which case each share is going to look expensive, so to speak. You might have a massive amount of shares in issue, and each share is going to look relatively cheap. It's the valuation that matters. Anyway, guys, that is the reverse stock split. That's what happens. That's potentially why you do it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.